Does sitting in the sun help combat COVID-19? Because we're also hearing that the warmer weather, the heat of summer is going to help with killing viruses. But what about laying in the sun? You know, if you're talking about um, what can I do to get the virus off me and to not transmit it to anybody or get it from somebody else, still the first thing you should do is wash your hands and avoid people in places that have it, keep doing shelter in place. But you do bring up a, a really good point, which is there's not a lot of cases in California yet. And there's a ton of cases in New York. And some people have speculated, you know, is the extra UV light, which does kill viruses and does kill coronavirus, that UV light will kill the virus. Is that helping us out in California? Maybe. You know, would I necessarily recommend going out to, you know, zap the virus on you and including sunbathing as you know, part of a preventative measure. I don't know about that. Mm. You're not hearing Gavin Newsom come up and issue statewide orders to go outside and sunbathe. Right. Still wash your hands and, and you know, social distancing and all that. That's the way to avoid right. getting infected. The things, but, the things we're all hearing about, yeah. yeah. Uh, next one is, uh, I guess, in order to have a, a better core, do you recommend uh, taking vitamins? Is there anything that would help maybe doing more of that it, just in case you get it? You might be stronger? In terms of what you can do to boost your immune system from a nutrition or supplement standpoint, I mean, the number one thing that I always recommend is eat healthy to begin with. If you eat enough fruits, vegetables, foods high in fiber, this sort of thing, that's going to cover most of your vitamin and mineral needs that I don't know that supplements are really um, going to do much. Now, if you wanted to do something, there's no harm in vitamin C. It's well tolerated. Zinc is another one that's thought, well, maybe that offers you some protection. I think those are safe and fine for most people to take. As always, consult with your regular doctor. But the best way to do it really is to eat a well-balanced diet with you know, a variety mm. of health foods. Uh, next text coming in, uh, and this might be something uh, where people are, are feeling this early stage, sore throat, chest tightening, coughing throughout the day. What are the initial medicines you should take if you're suspicious that this is something serious? You said uh, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and coughing. Um, and coughing. What are the medicines you should take? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind before even medicines, whenever you say, you know, chest pain or shortness of breath, you need to kind of start to ask yourself the question, should I be going in to get evaluated? If it's just a mild sore throat, a little bit of cough and fever, and you're comfortable staying at home, that's fine. Then you can take you know, Tylenol. There's been some controversy about ibuprofen. Is it, you know, should you not be taking that with Corona? I think people have different opinions. Um, I think it's probably okay. It doesn't seem like there's enough evidence against it. But for uh, for fever and pain, Tylenol, ibuprofen. If it's sore throat, then I'd recommend one of those sprays, chloroseptic spray for your throat, throat lozenges, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But But I do want to make the point if you're feeling, you're bringing up a couple red flag symptoms around corona that really you should think about calling your doctor or going to the emergency department. And the number one symptom there is shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. So that differentiates just a mild viral cold or even a mild coronavirus from something that's more serious yeah. for these people that get in trouble and eventually get intubated. If it's shortness of breath, chest pain is so risky with people with heart disease and all that kind of stuff. So, so for those, I would call your doctor and think about going to the ER. Yeah, I would think, um, you know, you know your own body, you know what you've been through in, in your life, and, and, and this is much more serious than you've dealt with before, then you, you would know that this is uh, more serious. And I'm glad you mentioned the ibuprofen thing, because we've had various experts on that also support your uh, thinking that, yeah, there's been a study, but as of right now, ibuprofen is, is okay to take.